Okay, so for some reason, the thing cut off, but I will tell you the rest of the thing. So it, it, when I come home, I always talk to my mom. I tell her about my day. I tell her what happened. So when the open cold sore was open and the manager was applying medication to it, it comes in a little tube, you know, those little like tin tubes that you have to squish down and left it on the counter. I kind of looked at it and, and was, you know, so when the person went to come touch me and touch other surfaces, I said, please, you know, wash your hands. So somehow the people eavesdropping on us, not just me, but my mom also heard me call him herpes hand. Now they decided to try to spread that as gossip. Now here's the problem with doing that by spreading gossip about somebody by saying, I said he had herpes hands. You are now putting out into the world that that person has herpes. That's the problem with eavesdropping, folks. That's the problem with these gang stalkers. Now, they will have to go through the whole situation because I'm telling you folks publicly. If somebody goes around and eavesdrops in the privacy of someone's home, and then spreads gossip, the problem isn't on me. It's on the people doing it. And I'm telling the, you this publicly to let them know publicly that they're the problems. Anyone who has an open sore on his or her lip should not touch me. Don't touch me. And I said, don't touch me. I have no shame in talking to you folks about this. That's how it happened. And that's part of how I'm going to continue to put this information out there. Now, if that person has any common sense, that person would stop this whole situation because I believe that person is behind this because he didn't want me to come forward and talk about the sexual harassment on the job. These people have the same thought process that as a black woman, I should be flattered by their attention. I am not. I don't have to get attention from managers or men on the job. That is part of how this is going forward. Now, the other thing these people said is that they're connected to Israel. They He had a background with Israel and so do some of the others. And I'm letting you folks know it's illegal in this country to harass people, to use some sort of technology in their apartments to harass them. If you don't want me talking about this publicly, you should not harass me. If you don't want me talking about finding men for me who I reject, you shouldn't harass me. I'm putting this up there publicly. This type of technology that can do this isn't technology I've ever seen in this country. It's not allowed. Burning my face, using some sort of technology to scar and mar me, um, um, scar me permanently, make me have some sort of uh, reactions to things. You see how the scar on my hand was there? You see my wrist bulging? You see these marks and scars? Because I don't want someone you want me to want? Because you decide to spread rumors that the person has herpes? I'm telling you folks this publicly. You hear that noise in the background? If they're using some technology to doctor videos or change what I'm saying in a video around, it's on them. I went to the FBI. I went to the CIA. I went to Interpol. I went to every single group. I went to the police to report this situation. And then I found out that these companies are in some ways connected to each other. I do not deserve to be harassed. If that person wants to invade my privacy, then why did he give me a good review? Oh, that's the part that I didn't get to. Not only did he give me a, a good review, but he said, I have a great attitude. I will be posting that review up so that you folks can see it. I got a glowing reference letter in August 2017, which included him. So if these people 
are talking about herpes hands. All right. I'm, t- I'm putting it out there for them. I have no shame in this. If they're talking about herpes hands, why are they talking about it in 2022 and not in 2016 or 2017? I will be publishing this video in a few moments.